Training for deceleration is overrated. Training the quality of deceleration is often mentioned as a vital component to an athletic performance program. You'll often hear things like, your brake pedal needs to be stronger than your gas pedal. And you've probably heard a strength coach or a PT cite that 98% of injuries occur during deceleration. I'm gonna take off at 500 miles per hour, but I do not have my landing license. The same thing applies to here, 98%. Right, of injuries or non-contact upon deceleration. Your ability to decelerate is everything. And I have a really strong skepticism of this claim. There's absolutely no way that that can be measured and quantified, especially in a reliable way. It's guesswork upon observations of various incidents of injury. But for the sake of this video, I'll assume that that 98% number is true. But injuries occurring during deceleration are also occurring in the presence of high brain and sympathetic nervous system stimulation. And training the quality of deceleration via common deceleration acceleration drills that you see here are inadequate for several reasons. These drills don't connect the brain to the tissue at even a fraction of what it would need to in order to elicit any sort of adaptation or improvement of the neuromuscular system as a fully functioning unit. These drills are done at speeds that are so far below anything an athlete will actually experience during a competition that they don't prepare the athlete for the competition. Drills like these uncouple deceleration with acceleration. It's so rare in sports that you're ever going to decelerate to a velocity of zero. There will almost always be a subsequent acceleration. These drills make the aspect of deceleration a conscious effort, meaning the motor pattern strategies that athletes use during these drills will be significantly different than the strategies they'll use in sports when relying on instincts and self-organization. And then lastly, deceleration is defined as a negative change in velocity. So the faster the change in velocity, the faster the deceleration. These drills encourage a gradual and controlled deceleration, meaning a slow deceleration. So you're not even really improving your ability to decelerate. A controlled deceleration is ineffective when having to either make a move in sports or in trying to keep up with an opponent when they're trying to make a move. Training for deceleration is really common in strength and conditioning, and I just don't think it's very well justified. 